Hey, 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 it's Finnabob. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be playing some Cold War, but I'm also going to be talking about the, all the Black Ops 6 rumors. And not just the rumors, it's all the leaks with it as well. You guys know I'm on my second account because I'm trying to get every Mastery Camo in one year, which, if I'm being honest, it's going to be still a struggle. I actually do plan on doing a really long live stream here soon of me just playing Cold War, especially getting hyped for BO6. As you guys know, this Call of Duty is going to basically be BO6, which, if Cold War is actually going to be like Black Ops 6, I'm very excited. I don't know about you guys, but I I actually did love some cold war i feel like i haven't played this map in a long time this is one of the better dlc maps especially for sniping one of my goals is just to level up every single gun in this game to level 30 and for the last 20 levels i plan on doing it in zombies because for zombies especially it's super easy to level up guns in the last 20 levels just for the zombies in general is pretty easy to actually level up and to actually do the camos is also even easier just the big problem is when actually trying to get my guns to level 30 i just feel like i've not been playing good on cold war at all that's why maybe if i do like a really long live stream and even try Try and make it into a 24 hour live stream i could definitely be good by the end of it that's at least like the whole hope of it but i was thinking of some challenges i could do i could definitely do some forfeits as well if anyone has like any forfeit ideas like maybe every like so often i set like a wheel challenge and if i fail to do that challenge in a certain amount of time maybe i have to do like a wheel challenge i'll pretty much do anything but the one chip i did the one chip before and i don't ever want to do it again when i tell you that put me out for three days it literally killed me for three days got him okay 50 eliminations that's good this gun is level 10 okay Okay, so 20 more levels and we can move it to zombies. I'm also trying to save up as much double XP stuff as I can, especially for the weapon side, because I would love just to use all that during the long live stream as well. Should be a guy back here. No they're behind oh wow i've been pretty much playing a lot of just nuketown only for cold war i really do enjoy nuketown and i always say nuketown is 10 times better than shipment but in cold war i feel like i'm getting destroyed every time i play nuketown i don't know what it is but i feel like everyone already has the head glitch spots by the time i try to do anything what was my aim i'm telling you guys that's why i'm just not good at cold war i swear it's like i don't know come on for my zombie map i've been playing and i want you guys to let me know what kind of zombies map you guys been playing especially if you guys did for your grind if you guys are grinding dark aether right now i definitely know the strat for multiplayer and honestly it's just playing as much as you can but the strat for zombies it can be very key and actually help the grind out a lot now i do plan on actually doing a cold war zombies video i don't know if it'll be now i don't know if it'll be in a couple weeks maybe a month maybe even closer to the bo6 i guess the plan is for this black ops cold war is just to play the map forsaken which is the last dlc map i feel like a lot of people did not play it. it's honestly a slept on map it's one of my favorite call of duty zombie maps of all time probably not it's probably somewhere in the mid section die machine is definitely a lot better but i definitely do think forsaken's underrated but forsaken is super good for the boss zombies which i think that's why i've been playing it a lot because i can get done with the boss challenge so fast i want to use this hand cannon there we go there are going to be some guys right up here oh i see him no 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 i'm so bad if you guys like these styles of videos also please let me know these are kind of like the style videos i want to do maybe a little bit more editing maybe some more music honestly i'm not 100 sure of how i want it exactly all i know is i want it to be something like this going in got you okay we're up by two i want to win this game if i win this game i do get a 30 minute double xp which i don't know if it's for weapon but if it's for weapon that'll definitely help out me so much ah uh, but for some of the call of duties if i can finish up cold war honestly for all the camels in one year definitely will make me more confident the only one i'm really really stressing is definitely modern warfare 2019 first of all that game isn't good second of all i just don't think the game is good third of all the map rotation kind of suck fourth of all i don't really like the movement i'm just really bad at it if i'm being and honest also just the pain of leveling up every gun to 70 and already trying to find lobbies especially with the hackers is gonna make it 10 times harder oh he's up there see he has good aim up there i did not i also do want to say i really do appreciate all the support when i tell you the sport's been kind of going crazy it, i mean it's kind of been going crazy i also had a couple of you guys ask and i'm joking i mean no one's ass i'm also wearing my fin and bob hat if you guys want to go check it out it's in the description down below it would mean a lot even just checking out the store and let me know what you guys think of it would mean a lot we're only up by four two minutes it's 100 coming down to the wire oh my teammate 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 i got you we can't lose this game got him and we're dead 
Oh, he's so... Oh. 28 and 18. Do you guys like EKIAs in the game? I usually bring this up, but I'm not the biggest fan of EKIAs because I feel like I'm not doing good. But since I just like literally spray and pray and hit one ball onto a guy, it basically counts as an EKIA, which for Black Ops 6 is actually confirmed that there are EKIAs, including we also saw a lot of the brand new maps leaked as well. And some returning maps, which some of the returning maps are fringe from Black Ops 3, if you guys remember that map. WMD, I'm pretty sure was also confirmed. I don't know how we got that kill. We got the harp and we won. Okay, good. That's another 30 minute double code. I'll definitely take. I'm going to try snipers only, but I know I'm going to get destroyed. Everyone that plays this game mode is definitely just crazy at sniping. I used to be. I used to actually like go for montages back in the day. But what I'm looking at right here is there's a total of 20 maps that have been leaked. I'm pretty sure 12 of them are at least 6v6 maps. Actually, got to quick get that kill. Here we go. We're going in. Got him. We are not good. But looking at it, it's called the Verukta Mine. There's Verukta, which I assume the Verukta Mine is probably going to be a bigger map than the actual Verukta. We have Catacomb. We have Flat. We have Dig, which is rumored to be Black Ops 2 Dig, if you guys remember that map. I feel like a lot of people don't remember Dig because it was a DLC map. I mean, a lot of you guys did have zombies. But when I go back and I talk to some of my friends about the map Dig, they can't even re really remember like what it was for. But let me tell you, Dig was definitely a good trick shotting map, at least. We have other maps like Baby Alon, Trade graveyard which kind of sounds sick which i still don't know which ones are going to be the actual ground war maybe headquarters or what we have russian base we have scutra 2 we have uh hasidena alt which if you guys don't know that's a black ops 4 map which is one of my favorite black ops 4 maps i think it's a very underrated actual map the fact that we're getting that map back makes me so excited because i think it's gonna flow so well with the movement that we're gonna have i love seeing all the omni movement leaked the fact that we're actually seeing like a lot of the movement leaked i think is a good thing i know they don't want stuff leaked but I think all the movement stuff so people can actually see it and it being leaked is going to be good for the community and for you overall. We have others like Strip Mall, which sounds like it could be a remake. We have Red Card. We have Firing Range 2. Yes, that is true. Firing Range is coming back. I, I'm super excited for Firing Range. I'm going to be honest. I can't wait to see Firing Range. I know we see it in like every Treyarch Call of Duty. But I feel like it's one of those maps that you will always love playing. We got other ones like Canals, Island, Pillage, Radar, Stealth, which I feel like those are more of going to be the smaller maps, like the 2v2 gunfight type maps. And then lastly, number 20th, which they have listed is Nuketown. I mean, it's a given that Nuketown's coming back. I mean, we all knew Nuketown was going to come back. It's Trey or Call of Duty. There's no way we'll never get like a shipment slash Nuketown map. I don't know what version of Nuketown we're going to get, but I assume it's going to be something like Cold War, which if I'm being honest, I really hope we do not get a Nuketown only playlist, especially right away. I'm going to be honest. I just don't want to play Nuketown only. I know when Nuketown only comes out and everyone say you don't have to play Nuketown only. I feel like I'm going to have to play Nuketown only to get my stuff so much faster. I mean, why would I be sabotaging myself? if we have a playlist like nuketown only whoa oh a lot of operators got leaked like woods being back which i don't really know fully the storyline to call of duty i haven't really played the campaigns so i might want to make it like a series where i go back and i play all the campaigns and then go play black ops 6 maybe it'll make more sense if you guys would like to see something like that please let me know as well because hey i'm kind of down i mean i really ha don't have much to lose before black ops 6 so going back and trying all the campaigns might be a cool idea what? That was a very delayed kill. I don't like how they have two turrets up here. This is kind of scary to look at. Snipers only is always the best game mode. Obviously, I don't hope we get it at launch, but I really hope we do get a snipers only playlist. Bring back snipers only. Black Ops 4 Cold War snipers only was the greatest game modes to exist outside of Infected. Infected MW3 will always be number one to me. I'm not doing too bad, but I'm just not doing good at all. Like, everyone just sliding around makes it so hard. I honestly forgot about, like, the bunny movement in this. It's same with Black Ops 4. For some reason, like, bunny movement just goes hard. Like, it's the, it's, like, it's just sliding. It's just sliding 24-7, and you're good. Okay, we gotta win this game again. Why is every game so close? I feel like every Cold War game was like this. There we go. Okay, we won, at least. 